What's up, everybody? Joe with Joe's Golden Garage. Coming to you today with a little short little Lexus update. I have spent the whole day, today's July 4th, spent the whole day cleaning, washing, compound waxing, and polishing this Lexus. Uh, I don't think it's ever been done in the 18 years we've had it. I think it's had a coat of wax thrown on it before by like, you know, one of these fast detail shops. But I got in there and just hammered down and she looks great. I got so many little scratches out that were down here on this plastic part just from years of, you know, road grime. And, I mean, look at that. Look at the clouds. She cleaned up good. Had a few scratches here on the rear bumper just where things scratched it, you know, just going in and out of the trunk. They all came out. But I had to work it, though. You can see my stash of stuff over there. So many little imperfections and, and tar, road tar and stuff down there. Got them cleaned up. Had a big, long scratch down through here. Polished it out. Man, it's been a task. Had uh, some really hard uh, stains down here that washing it would not take out. And I had to compound those stains out. They were really odd. Uh, kind of hard to describe. But they came clean. I wish I had a before picture. She really looks good, y'all. Cleaned up nice. Now, I haven't even touched the inside yet or done any of the glass. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Inside and glass. Hood came out nice. It had a few, like, you know, uh, tree sap type marks. And I do have a few chips in the paint. I need some touch up paint. few little just rock chips but most of the bug guts and everything came out this piece of trim is starting to fade really bad and the grill starting to fade some but yeah she looks great I mean got a great shine Literally, I've got about eight hours in this today. What did I use? I used my, uh, chem I ordered this from Chemical Guys. This is a Torque, T-O-R-Q, orbital buffer. And I just used Griot's, uh, or Griot, however you say that name, Complete Compound to compound it and then best show wax to give it the good shine um yeah so and of course you gotta have spray away glass cleaner that stuff gets all kinds of stuff out of paint it helps too that's it i'll get you guys a follow-up of the interior and we might take us a little spin tomorrow See how she's doing. I think she's got about 118,000 miles on her right now. Y'all have a good one. Peace. All right, it's the next day. And I am going to take the Lexus. Yeah, I know, low tire. It's not really low. And maintenance due, and it's not really due. <laughs> 117, 489. I'm going to meet my uh, soon-to-be ex-wife up and uh, get my son. Um, he's going to come spend the weekend with me. And 
I'm about to drive into a line of thunderstorms and showers. There's no way I'm going to avoid it. So all the cleaning and detail work I've done to the exterior of this car for the past two days is about to get jacked up in the weather. <laughs> Great. Well, at least she's got a fresh coat of wax all over her, so it'll just be a quick wash and redo the tires and probably wheels real quick and it'll be fine it'll be fine so anyway i'll join you guys i gotta stop and get some gas and we will join you as soon as we hit the interstate all right let's get on i-75 and drive directly into the storm <laughs> got to work on the interior today. I'm going to do some uh, leather cleaner, treat the interior to a nice wipe down with various potions and mag magic juices. She needs it. This driver's seat especially needs it. It's got some staining on it. Driver's seat's held up well. It doesn't have much cracking or wear. It has a little bit. But luckily, you know, it's had a light ass on it most of its years. My mom's a petite person. The uh, Waze radar shows lots of police activity out here today. Lots. So you may not see my typical, um, you know, 100 mile per hour cruising <laughs> because it looks like they may be everywhere but it's now July 5th so I'm sure they're looking for all the travelers out there two objects. There it is. Piece of tar. Tar. Oh, man. 
Ooh, the skies are ominous, Peter. Give her a little squirt. Dude, I love those R-Pod campers. That is a perfect size. And I love those too, except not the Dodge version. Gotta get a Mercedes Sprinter. I know the Mercedes and Sprinter chassis adds a lot more to the price tag though. But I would rather be running a Mercedes diesel engine than a Pentastar 3.6. Oh, my clean car. Golly. I worked hours on this sucker yesterday. Hours. Dang. <laughs> oh, man, this sucks. <laughs> I mean, I did two step, two, or uh, two, two stage, two step, whatever you want to call it compound uh, wax to get all the little spine scratches and you know all the little details of 18 years on this car this car's never been you know so-called paint corrected and that's that's kind of what I did in my novice novice way And then I polished it with a best in show car wax to give it that glorious shine. Watch out, the vehicle on shoulder ahead. <laughs> oh gosh. And now I'm taking it and driving it directly into a major thunderstorm. <laughs> uh, well, at least it'll clean up what easy it should. Um, and I'll do it immediately as soon as I get back. Just uh, throw a bucket of um, Chemical Guys car wash. That stuff's great stuff, y'all. Um, pretty slippery stuff, too, if you need to clay bar a car. Yeah, and I clay barred, too. Forgot to mention that. Um so yeah that's some good slippery stuff and does a great job so yeah i can i can knock this thing down here pretty quick and get her back to shape i want you to see what the ways is showing as far as police activity ahead i hope there's not some sort of accident that's not showing up on here 
Oh, there's another one. I just, I just hope they've uh, are running radar. Let's just say that. That's what I hope for. But we shall see. This is probably going to be a pretty long video, guys. Check out this dude with this Dodge Ram on the trailer. What is wrong with it? Oh, it's oh, it's wrecked and it's missing its front wheel and the whole shebang. Well, he's pretty smart staying over there and running his hazards. Just paid three twenty-seven a gallon for gas, so lean ninety-three octane uh, at the local Kroger grocery store here in Georgia, just north of Atlanta. Three twenty-seven a gallon for ninety-three octane, but I had a fifty cent uh, per gallon credit I needed to use. Um, you know, shopper rewards. Uh oh, we got cops. Let me put my phone down just a second. Shopper rewards card. Um, yeah, I'm just going 75, buddy. Yeah, 50 cents off a gallon shopper rewards card. Um, that's a pretty good price for premium fuel. Oh, boy more these are the chasers i think up here he's that guy was running radar and here's our chasers i hope why do i see brake lights please don't make me stop oh they've got some guys pulled over i see Ooh, looks like we're doing some drug searching oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> about three cops and they are searching that Ford Escape. Looked like a rental version, too. Police reported ahead. I know. Hook her lips. Anyway, uh, just a little update on the old Lexus LS430. We're sitting at 117. 510 miles man she's running great running great still no problems or issues um just change the oil and roll man um she is due for a tire uh rotation and um and let's see probably getting close to time to do a power steering and brake fluid flush uh, change because um, I think the last time it was done it about, was about 60,000 miles and man that's been years ago years ago so anyway we are yep I see the raindrops it's oh it's a downpour over there yeah this is going to be fun so I better get two hands on the wheel it looks windy I see leaves blowing around it's unfortunate because I only have two more exits to go. I wish I could have beat this. But I'm glad to see it coming. We Watch have Vehicle on shoulder ahead. been so dry here in Georgia. And our grass and our plants need this rain so bad. So uh, I'm not going to complain that it's passing through. Anyway, hope y'all had a good fourth. Thanks for watching. If you stuck around this long, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you the next time. Peace.